All right, thank you for joining the Jordan Motorsports YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my two F bodies. Is the Silver 2000 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 that has a name called Mayweather. Um, we're going to start with uh, the exterior. It's a 2000 Z28 sitting on 15 by 10 and 15 by 4 billet specialty street lights um, it's also accompanied by Mickey Thompson SS streets on the back just put those on last week and on the front we're also running Mickey Thompson's so we got a matching set here drilled and solid rotors all the way around the car standard brake system billet Z28 grill was added to the vehicle um, also opened up for more air new headlights I obtained this vehicle in a trading uh, situation and it was running when I got it but the motor was blown up did not know that thought it was some lifters long story short I ended up redoing the entire motor in this car we're gonna move to the inside before we go to underneath the hood Typical Z28 layout in these uh, F bodies. Um, everything is still in the car, fully interior. We are running a 10 inch Android uh, operating system tablet style radio. This isn't a tablet, it is actually a radio. We'll turn that on for you so you can get a good look. From this tablet, I actually can run a lot of things from the car. I also monitor a lot of things from the car. Um, I can actually uh, monitor uh, any parameter that's in my computer via dash command. And I'll give you guys a short look at that once that gets booted up. I also run uh, HP tuners from this also. Um, pretty neat setup. I played with it, finally got it working. But as you can see, it's your typical Android operating system but on a radio platform if I go here to apps if I go to dash command um, I can run a couple of different dashes on this thing monitor a lot of parameters within the car on the motor etc alright so this is one of my dashboards I have loaded it does speed RPM acceleration power and torque um, if you're on a boost application you can do boost I also can switch over to more traditional style gauge um, by hitting gauges and then I can actually toggle through different scenarios of gauges that I would want to uh, watch as I'm racing, going down the track, um, driving, etc. This vehicle still has the stop shifter in it. Um, a lot of people are confused with that. Every time they see it, they think it's a 6 speed car. It is still a 4L60E car. Um, that is an add-on. Um, and I added the boot to make it look like that. But it is still an automatic vehicle. Um, your typical 3 pod gauge, uh, oil pressure, trans, and we're running a air-fuel ratio. It has a complete auto tech sound system in it um, added with Bose tweeters all the way around it's still in the factory uh, amp system which is a great system to have still has rear seats stock seat belts and then we're gonna go underneath the hood talk a little bit about that powertrain system what we're working with All right, it's still LS platform, of course. Um, start at the front. We have a SLP lid. Run the can in high performance air filter. Moving on, run a stock ported LS1 throttle body. Uh, NOS nitrous plate system kit attached to a LS6 intake. We are running pace setter headers and still with an 853 head on this motor. It is ported, fully ported, pretty much kind of worked to the max on the head. 
Um, not gonna talk too much about the bottom end, um, as that's kind of a top secret. It is bigger than a 350. I, I can say that. Um, we're running a pretty much a home-built nitrous system, and what I mean by that, it was pieced together. Um, it's running an NOS plate system. We're running cold fusion nitrous solenoids. Um, for the money, you really can't beat them brand new. We're also running cold fusion um, purge system. We're running a Gates Green Industrial Belt and a manual belt tensioner. Um, this motor turned some pretty good RPMs and was having some issues with keeping a belt on it. The belt was rolling off. So we actually had to go to a manual belt tensioner, which is a uh, billet. We're running yellow Optima top battery and a standard catch can system. To pull timing for the nitrous system, uh, we are running a Lingen fender. Um, time and retard and launch controller very simple to use very very simple and we're still running the stock ECM on HP tuners as far as the transmission as we spoke earlier it's still a 4L 60E it is worked with a Yank 3200 stall converter it has a 750 horsepower kit in it um, and it gets the job done uh, haven't had any issues with it it leaves hard you just put it in drive and go. Don't have to shift it. Actually, it's kind of hard to shift this car. It leaves so fast that you don't have time to really shift this car. So you have to put it in drive. Um, been there, tried it. Doesn't work out too great. <laughs> we are running a 58 to 24 conversion module by Ling and Fender. Uh, that's a little secret about the bottom end. So you guys can probably about figure out what we got going on there. Um, but that controls the crank output we're also running a well we got a door lock here so let's try this go around the other way to control that nitrous, nitrous system we have a custom built switch panel here uh, the first button actually controls the radio. Um, the second one is the actual arming system, and the third one is actually my purge system. Um, we are running a Nitrous Express Maximizer Easy uh, progressive system. Easier system to run. Um, you just dial in from the top of what kind of seconds you want your nitrous to ramp in in correlation with your timing retard on the outside easy simplest way easy to make changes at the line and it, it just works it plugs in just like a relay so I can put a standard relay in here and make this a solid system and run it straight or I can just run this progressor it's all plug and play Okay, it does have three inch exhaust all the way out the back. Well, kind of out the back. It's all the way to the actual rear axle. Differential wise, we are still running a seven and a half. It's a 28 spline seven and a half. Uh, still has the stock worm style uh, gear uh, posi traction unit. Works great. Um, these rear ends will hold some power if you know what you're doing. Um, if you know how to drive, they will hold some power, guys. Um, Suspension-wise, vehicle does have subframe connectors, tubular control arms, but it is still stock suspension. Running tubular front K member, all of that stuff is BMR. Um, kind of hard to show you guys from the top, but it is pretty much anything I could tube from the bottom. I tubed it. Still running stock control arms up front not really a big issue to change that trans cooler down there running just a small one it keeps it so cool sometimes it doesn't even register on the gauge it works great currently right now this car is on 125 shot of nitrous um 
Don't know if we're going to up that right now, but we are going to be in the future building a standalone fuel system. And when I say build a standalone fuel system, I'm not going to buy one. I'm actually going to build a standalone fuel system um, that I think will work great. And we possibly could be doing a battery relocation kit to put that fuel tank up front. I think that's about it guys with this car um, I really don't express uh, times as of right now because this car um, is a no time car and is running some no time events for the rest of this year um, but I do plan on doing some bracket racing with this vehicle in the next year or so um, on motor and grudging on gas so you guys will get to see some times on this car this car is very very impressive um, a lot of my buddies can contest to that um, but it's been a great car it was a little pain at first when I first got it, but I love the car. can drive anywhere, 60 or 65 miles an hour. We're going to see can we possibly get you guys some driving video in this car. Next video we're going to have on the channel is my 98 Turbo F-Body Chevrolet Camaro Z28 SLP package. So this is Mayweather guys, hope you guys enjoy, at the end of this video you will see it on the dyno, and get you guys a startup video here. Okay guys, so that pretty much concludes this introduction of the 2000 Z28 Camaro that we called Mayweather in Jordan Motorsports. And it lives up to that name. It's been knocking a few people out here lately. So we're going to get you some ride video and then we're going to be out. Peace out, Jordan Motorsports.